Okay, third attempt. <laughs> Welcome back to the Sunrider Academy. Yo, Kyoto! As I came over to my desk during break time. Hey, how's it going? Uh, time sheer flies, huh? I can't believe summer's nearly ended already. I guess so. Pretty sure, uh, pretty soon the weather was going to get cold again. I wasn't looking forward to that. Uh, by the way, I'm sorry for forgetting about your girlfriend the other day. Uh, I have no idea how I've forgotten something so major. Stupid me, huh? <laughs> well, it's not a big deal. Although, uh, I'm pretty sure I, I'm pretty surprised. I didn't know you had the hots for the solemn quiet type. Somehow it felt weird to have the same conversation with Asper again. For her, to, uh, for her it was I was asked if everything she knew about Sola had been erased. Yeah. Well, Sola may have seemed cold at first, but deep inside she's an emotional girl. Really? Yeah. Meh. Uh, well, anyways, I'm just happy for you. Make her happy, alright? I will. Oof, oof, oof. I'm confident it will work out. Work out, huh? A month ago, I was confident I'd be able to stop the disconnections. But that... Uh, but now it... That, uh, oh, God. But now that it had come down to this, I was on the verge of just accepting that Sala was going to disappear. All I could do was just stay by her side until it happens. Thanks for the support. Don't worry. If anything happens to Sala, I'll do everything in my power to help her. That's my man! Asuka slapped me on the back and turned to her seat. Class was starting again. I took out my hollow and opened my studies. Okay, I guess that's it for now, and I'll be back when something comes up. It seems that Marae has entered my bedroom. I have no idea why I said it like that. Ray popped her head into my room. Hey, Kyoto. Uh, what do you want? Uh, sh treating your precious sister like that? You know, you shouldn't really walk into a guy's room without, without warning like that. Haven't you ever heard of manners? Oh? What? Afraid I'll catch you jerking off to your game? I clutch my face with my palm. Face palm? No, I don't even have time for them anymore. Or could it be... You're scared that I'll walk in in the middle of you, in the middle of one of your love sessions with Sola? Oi. I crossed my arm. At least she remembers. Idiot. See, if I said man, I'd understand, but since it says ma, I don't know what it means. Ma. I guess I don't need uh, those love simulations anymore. Now that you've got a real girlfriend. Oh, you don't need it. I don't need it. Whatever. It must be nice to have you too. <sighs> Well, it's a lot of work, but yeah, it's pretty nice. Murray popped down beside me on the bed. Anyway, I just came to say hey. Say, looks like I've finally been de uh, I've there. Like I've been soundly defeated. It's my loss this time, Kyoto. Well, let me just say that you've managed to impress your little sister. Keep it up, okay? Huh. As if I was doing this to impress you. Despite that, I grinned ear to ear. Haha. <laughs> I finally managed to impress Marie. It had been a long time since those words came from my little sister. I swear, the last time I heard her say that must have been when I was seven years old and I caught a giant butterfly for her. Hello. Oh, no. It's so dishonest about your feelings. Marie patted me on the back. That's a boy, that's a boy. What was I, the Admiral? This is just the beginning, Ray. Aha. You better hurry up and grow up. Or oh, at this rate, it's you who's going to be single for the rest of your life. Well, as long as I have my BL, I'm not worried. <laughs> Let's see how long that lasts once you graduate. No. Being lectured by the king of dating games. Well, I'm not worried at all. Once I attend Sunrise Academy with you, 
I have all the pretty reliable older brother to watch out for me, after all. After all, I was prompted from King of Dating Sims to a pretty reliable older brother. I guess my stock had improved since in Murray's eyes. All because I got myself a girlfriend. Seriously, do the youth of today really think that a man's worth was completely dependent on his girlfriend? Clearly, the younger generation was in trouble of that at this rate. Maria eyes me. No, you're thinking bad things about me again, aren't you? <laughs> good girl, good girl. I pat Maria on the head like she was doing uh, doing to me earlier. No, who tell you, daddy? I'm sorry. I won't try to do that ever again. Whatever happens to the pretty reliable older brother? I take that back. Once I attend Sunrise Academy, I'll go out with so much more handsome, reliable, and smarter men. He'll also have long black hair. Ride on it. Ride his bike. Right away. Well, ride to school on a hover cycle, and totally have dark secret backstory. So I don't need you at all. I can see she's already got this figured out. Obviously, I had to I had no need to worry about her after all. <laughs> Tell me how it goes. Get out. Just you wait. That'll be the next best then. By the next year you'll date this said dark haired man with an even darker backstory. Or else you'll have to acknowledge that your older brother's the best. Piece of cake. Just you wait. Next year, you'll come to me crying when I bring him home for dinner. Sure, sure. Good luck to the... Okay. Heh. I don't need your luck. Marie marched out of the room, looking pretty full of herself. Heh. As soon as she gets out of here, she's probably going to lock herself in a room and start panicking. I just know it. She'll probably dig through endless volumes of teen hollow mags again. Researching how to get a boyfriend. Well, I guess Marae could be cute once in a while. Although, I was skeptical that she would find this emo boyfriend next year. I fell into bed and went to sleep quickly. Oh. Yay, didn't get anything too bad last night. Anything happening in the morning? Okay, no. Okay, I'll be back when something else pops up. Okay then, guys. The uh, Pendo National Bingy Map Bob is coming up. So this is going to be interesting. I'm just going to do one other thing. Get a little bit more money. Extra, okay, actually. School. The schools from across Sierra have gathered for the national qualifier. Before I knew it, the day of the Pendo National qualifier came. I took a deep breath. I sure hope Asuka was ready for this. Yo, Kyoto! Today's the big day, eh? Considering the occasion, she sure didn't seem worried at all. Let's do our best, alright? Don't worry! After everything we've done this year, we've got this in the bag. Somehow, I doubt the national qualifiers would be so easy, but I guess it didn't help to be, a, uh, to be optimistic. Alright, let's do this. Okay, I need at least a bronze in this qualification to... Uh, uh, I, need, uh, I need a bronze in this competition to qualify for the national championship. But we're safe, we'll probably get gold. Okay, we got a bronze. Silver. Gold. I think we're safe. Nothing else, just that. Oh, I was hoping for a little bit more. Oh well, I'll be back in the next part, I guess. Okay, here we go, a little bit more story, finally. I saw on a still watch Gara run a port scanner over solar. Thanks for doing this. Oh no, it's no trouble at all. Even though it was a long shot, maybe if Chigara could examine solar herself, then we should be, we could uh, find a way to stop this connection. Mm. I do not detect any anomalies. Oh, wait, that's what she said. That's all. I do not detect any anomalies. It appears that you are merely an ordinary human. Of course, there's still a possibility my equipment is not 
is simply not fast enough to detect the source of this tension. I am sorry. I could theorize all night, but my, person, uh, my practical abilities are limited by currently existing technologies. By now, I was hardly surprised we had walked into a dead end. Should we seek a doctor? No. That was definitely way beyond that, uh, what science could fix. For all I know, the authorities might take Sola away and lock her in a lab to perform experiments all day and her condition ever became known. Very well. I thank you for your efforts. Mm. Have you experienced anything strange out or out of the ordinary since this connection began? No. I am told the first observation of my connection was the days after my rescue in the mountains. I was two years old at the time. The head priest's wife observed my kinky vanishing in a few seconds, then reappear. The next disconnection did not occur for another three years. Then one, di oh, then one of my feet vanished for a moment. However, once connections have been more frequent and more severe, my life, uh, my life outside of the disconnection has been devoid, oh, what? devoid of any strange phenomena. I see. Can't think of it. There was that one weird dream I had. Although I was probably going to sound like an idiot mentioning it, I should make an, uh, I should make sure to eliminate all possibilities. Actually, there is one thing. I had a strange experience after seeing those collections for the first time. I could have sworn after seeing the attack, I went to the shrine at night to pray for Solar. I went inside one of the chambers and touched a large monolith. As soon as I touched it, I heard a woman's voice who told me that Sola did not exist in this timeline to begin with. And then I woke up in bed as if the whole thing had never ha uh, had been a dream. In fact, I can't really remember large chunks of that night, so I always assumed it was just a dream. Oh, what the hell? How do you say that? Instantaneous travel? I don't know. That, that is a word I'll never see in my lifetime. Except for now. Could it be possible? She got a pro uh, pressed a few more buttons of her scanner and then held it over me. Uh, ah! What's up with this music? The scanner beat and she got a flapped her arms like she was about to fly away. What? what? Is there something wrong with me? Uh, oh my! I'm detecting a faint trace of tachyon particles on you, Mr. Manager. What, what, what do you mean? You're a time traveler. Really? What? Me? There's no doubt about it. The presence of even trace, traces of Tycon could only mean that music's hilarious. <laughs> when you were subjected to relative, uh, <laughs> I can't say, speak anymore. Uh, movement beyond light speed. Wait, but that would mean that I was, I saw the shrine. Wasn't a dream? My hope rose. This is the closest we've gotten to a breakthrough. Uh, what that woman said, she said something that to affect, uh, to affect of, I couldn't save someone who never existed in the first place. That what could that mean? Surely, I must exist now. While these connections are indeed strange, others can still uh, perceive me. It is not as if I am a poltergeist. Hmm. If Sora never existed in this timeline, then that could be only me that whoever or whatever we believe to be Sola right now is an illusion. In which case, then the disconnection could mean that the illusion is decaying. Ah, could it be a temporal shadow? My heart pounded. It seemed that as <laughs> it seemed as if Shigara was onto something. Hey, what? Once time travel is possible, 
The effects can arrive prior to the pause. This music is so loud. And the ripple effect of time anomaly can, can transverse not only in a single universe, but through multiple universes. Shigaro's rambling as she was got, as if she had gone crazy. I had no idea what she was saying. I understand now. I understand what? Solo is a temporal shadow caused by the time anomaly which may happen in the future, or which may have already happened. In, in plain English. Logically, the travel must be a uh, must be possible. Uh, <laughs> time travel must be possible right now in our current era. Because if you had uh, an in if like infinite amount of time, if an event is, is possible at all, then it will come true eventually. The presence of uh, Tachyon's on Mr. Manager now proves that time travel is practically possible. Possibility. And if time travel is, uh, is a possibility, then not only will it eventually be uh, well, not discovered, but such technology will pro uh, propagate to all other times throughout the time travel era itself. Well, my head was going in circles. If that is true, then Solar can be a temporal shadow left by a time anomaly which occurred either in the past or the near future. What if someone were to time travel thousand years into the future, but something went wrong and created copies of themselves at multiple time points? Then multiple shadows of the original person would be created. As the time device gradually, uh, okay, reconclides. Okay, please don't go any louder. The shadows could vanish, leaving the original try. Nope. <laughs> travel, <laughs> travel at the oh come on, travel at the intended destination. That is the only possible explanation as to how some of uh, how someone would never uh, existed in time and become part of reality, but then gradually fade from existence. Solar, you're not, you're actually not solar, but a temporal shadow of solar. Uh, uh, uh? <laughs> I, I'm sorry, but was my explanation so too confusing? My head hurt. Uh, but if I want to understand Shigaru's explanation right, we still had no way of keeping this connection from happening. So, is there a way we can prevent solar uh, the shadow from fading? Ah. Uh, um, perhaps the destruction of the real solar, then the sun who exists in our timeline would replace the real one. That sounded impossible. Who knows where or when the real solar existed? Besides, we were not going to resort to a conspiracy to murder one solar uh, to <laughs> conspiracy to murder one solar across the time to save another solar. Anything else? Um, ah, I got it. I could try to construct a force feedback device. If I am present to use the uh, device, the next time a disconnection occurs, I may be able to render the, uh, the device as an attempt to wipe Sella's shadow inop uh, inoperative. If the time machine is destroyed, then both the original Sella and the Shadow Sella could continue existing in two different uses. That's the best thing I uh, that's the best thing I've heard all year. What do you need to make uh, the false feedback device? Ah it will certainly be a difficult task. While I may be a uh, well I may be able to cobble together some of the military grade materials, using consumer products I will need a substantial amount of time. The technology involved is high, is high, they're still high experimental, so I cannot even estimate the chances of success. Further, but because the device is not strictly legal, you will have to keep a secret between the three of us. Not legal? Well, I'm ordinary a law-abiding uh, citizen and the vice president of the student council. I'll have to just, I'll have to make an exception this time. Okay. 
but after we save solar, we'll have to smash the feedback device and throw it into the ocean. That's understood. Okay! Still, my heart was beating with excitement. There may be a way to save solar after all. I put my arm around her. Hear that, solar? We're going to save you. Don't worry, Mr. Manager. You can count on Shigara. I certainly felt incredible grat uh, grateful to have met Chigara. Even though Starla was my girlfriend, it was Chigara who might just save the day. You really saved us, Chigara. You're going, you're going to be a like, you're to be, you're going to be like our hero. <laughs> but no, Mr. Manager. I am really exploring the scientific phenomena for my own uh, curiosity. In any matter, please declare a solar. I'll make uh, preparation for the device here. Yeah. Okay, I guess we're done for now. Um, I might do one or two more parts, not sure yet, so stay tuned. Okay then, we've got the swim national qualifier now. So let's see how this does. The day of the swimming national qualifier came. The team has prepared for this. I hope we perform to expectations. Alright, let's try our best, alright? Remember, this is for Sunrider Academy. We're already considered the best, so we mu we have an image to maintain. Understood. I shall bear this responsibility without complaint. Good luck, Sola. I shall return. So I went over to the rest of the team and warmed up. I sat down on the bleachers. Even though I was here just to support them, my heart was racing with anticipation. Let's do this. Yeah, I know about this one as well. You need to give me the same uh, information. Okay, we've passed already. Yeah, gold. Too easy. I always want a little bit more after that. You think they'd like say thank you for helping, blah blah blah. We managed to get this far thanks to you, blah blah blah. That's it. Nope, they don't really care about me. 